Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Today is Chase's birthday. So we're out here. I gotta get barn work done super early, super fast, so I can get up there and get his cheesecake made. He wants a double chocolate cheesecake. And he also wants his shepherd's pie for dinner, so that's a full day of bacon. Got some other chores to get done. Already got the dishes washed. These girls are heading out to the woods, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see where I can put you. I gotta put you down, I guess. I have to throw the horses out, but look at this. Now, I fill this thing in several times a year. Right in the middle of my walkway, these hens think is the perfect place to take a dirt bath. Look at this. Are you real comfortable? You're going to have to move? Oh, really? Hurry up. Somebody else wants in the hole. Take your turn and get going. Now, when I get Athena, hi, Cinchy, when I get Athena out, if I tell her to get the chickens, she'll literally put her head down to the ground and, like, nudge them and push them out of her way. Otherwise, the chickens really don't like to move, but he'll step right on them. He doesn't care. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Yeah. All right. Well... I never know how it's going to go putting you guys on the, uh, the quad. I kind of got to hold you. Right. Deciding to move the cows. They're ready. Hi, ladies. And boys. All right. Oh, your water is still pretty full, too, isn't it? Let's see. I guess I will... Hmm. First, I gotta turn you guys off. Right. Come on, cows. They follow very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to. I got. I'm gonna take this down on the way past. So, we take down the fence in the middle. We ran the line yesterday, so it's already up. Just put it on the back side of these posts. Yeah, go ahead and drop it. Put the line down. Oop. So, can you guys see? I got it. Go ahead. And across they go. Slowly but surely. They got to make sure that it's down. There's Tony. Rebel, Mr. T following up the rear. <laughs> okay, now, whoops, trying to do all of this with one hand is difficult. I just have to undo this corner post so I can put the new spool up. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put you guys down so you can watch. Kind of. Hi, Mocha. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Can I say hi to the people? No, you can't lick the people. <laughs> she would really love to just lick the phone. Bye. Oh, these cows are something else. Mocha's a good one. She's got those big weapons on her head, though. Silly girl. I'm, Harley, I'm going to move the quad in to uh, get the water started. i got to move the water, so I'm going to put you guys down again. So I told you guys before that I follow Greg Judy quite a lot. He does um, grass grazing only, and one of the big things that he looks for are manure pads. So I'll show you what a good manure pat looks like. That, I think, is what Greg Judy would say is a good looking manure pat. See how it's kind of rippled? 
or a little bit rippled and not very, very tall and also not too liquidy. So that's what he looks for and says that's good. So when you look for the manure like that, you know that your cow is absorbing the nutrients that it needs. And yeah, it all looks pretty good. Mm-hmm, it's perfect. It has the little puddle in the middle. That one's a little watery, but oh, here's a perfect one right here. What I think he would call perfect. Hold on, I'll turn you around. I think this is what he would call perfect. See how it has the little puddle in the middle, the little, the little dip, and then it's rippled. Then it's not very high. I'm sure that's probably not what you expected to watch with your breakfast video this morning. However, <laughs> um, you know those are those are things that you really want to look for. You want to make sure that your animal's getting everything that they need. Oh, look here. Let, let me show you this. I believe that used to be a groundhog hole, and the cows filled it in. They don't particularly love groundhogs, so when they find a hole, they will they will bury it. Isn't that cool? I don't know if everybody's cows do that or if it's just mine, but every time they find a groundhog hole, they'll they'll fill it in. They don't want it there. So, all right, we're gonna go back and feed the rest of the animals because they're surely starving by now. All right, guys, we're ending the video up here in the greenhouse. I had to come up and crack open the window and check to make sure nobody needed water. Everybody's here. Chase is here too, aren't you, birthday mm -hmm. boy? Anyways, I need to get in the house and get all my baking done. I need to get some work done. There he is. Handsome man that he is. And uh, yeah, so that's going to do it. I'll probably sneak a picture of that double chocolate cheesecake here at the end of the video so you guys can see what it looks like because it is mm. yummy, yummy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.